Is it ready yet? No. Just saying it's kind of been a while. Wow, we're not really the uh, lovey-dovey type usually, but I don't think I've ever been so full of love for one human being in my entire life before this. You might say I'm all shook up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, so let's throw a calorie count up on screen. I dread to think what it's going to be because we use 1,400 grams of peanut butter alone on this thing. That's without the bacon, the bananas, and the bread. And Mrs. Beard over there, she's gonna eat... A little bacon sandwich. A not so little bacon sandwich. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not sick and tired of the smell of bacon at this point. Some people are getting suspicious minds if we uh, don't start soon. Oh my gosh, you just <laughs> say that. Right, a little less conversation, a little more eating, please. All this aggravation ain't satisfaction in me. <laughs> I like that one. Anyway, shut up, stop laughing. All right, brief history of the Elvis sandwich, also known as the Fool's Gold Loaf for some reason, is uh, Elvis once took a chartered flight, I think at like 3 a.m., to go to some restaurant where they served these giant bacon, peanut butter, and jelly sandwiches. I don't know about the banana part, I think people added that later, but uh, yeah, that's why it's called an Elvis sandwich. So, uh, well, let's put about an hour on the clock, optimistically, and see if we can get through this. So, without further ado, this is Beamix Food, and this is the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate Elvis sandwich. Who's <gasps> good? No idea I'm gonna eat this thing, but I'll give it my best shot. Ah, good lord. Uh, yeah, this is definitely not happening though. I'll look at a few bags, I'll be good. Uh, maybe if we hadn't used crusty bread. Uh, this alone is gonna be hard to finish. Uh, I can't really taste the bacon. I don't even know if I've got to the bacon yet. <laughs> it's ta! What's up, Beard Army? Welcome back to another video. And today we're doing another ridiculously over the top eating challenge. The biggest Elvis sandwich ever constructed. Probably. Can't confirm, but I mean, it has to be. Look at the size of it. This is just not happening. I haven't even finished the first. I'm not even halfway through the first. Third. Or, if you would like a more traditional fraction, one sixth. <laughs> that works. One sixth of the way through this uh, giant sandwich. It's like. <laughs> I don't understand it. It's like some kind of cosmic singularity. That I, it's just not going down. <laughs> well, eat faster It's impossible because it's, you bought a crunchy loaf. There's no way to eat that fast, like a French baguette, but just like giant. Ugh, busting out the excuses 13 minutes in, that does not bode well. Anyway, to give you a bit of background on why we did this today, I don't know if you watched it, but a few weeks ago we filmed an episode of the Backseat Blowout in which I criticized Mrs. Beard for never making me uh, giant food, so she uh, she made me this. I'm not gonna finish the first third, bro. I've been in a time warp and no time has gone. <laughs> How long have you been eating? Have I cleaned up? <laughs> Six, nearly 17 minutes. What? <laughs> you know what to say about men with big sandwiches? <laughs> what if this can't be the big sandwich? Frankly, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy that I'm going to be able to finish the first third. I think the middle third should be easier because there won't be as much trust. In theory. Why don't you try just eating like the bread without the stuff? 
That's not fun. Come on, beard. One thing I will say is that it tastes delicious. And it looks <laughs> it looks incredible looking at it, man. But God damn. <sighs> You're gonna be thirsty after this one. Salty bacon. Shalty bacon. Shalter. <laughs> That's actually the first time I've tasted bacon. I've been eating for like 18 minutes. I like to taste before with peanut butter and jam. Which isn't a bad thing. You could kill to me with. This is a weapon, it's not a sandwich. I think statistically the most likely place I'm gonna die is the toilet. Since I spend a lot of time there. I feel like I'm not far away from death right now actually. Well, I made it for you. You're gonna have to finish it. You're an accessory to murder. I'm gonna call it the man plot of sandwich. <laughs> the widow maker. Alright, let's let's not over dramatize this entire thing. Ugh. As you can see, this is uh, it's ca kind of a physical battle <laughs> at this point. Shouldn't really be a surprise because this thing is like 18,000 calories or something ridiculous. Going! Oh, you're not quitting, are you? No, there's got to be an easier way to do this, though. I'm going to try to separate him. Why do you get crusty bread? There we go, I've kind of made it into a much more manageable sub now. Are you getting cramping your arms? I'm getting cramping my arms. You That's... want me to hold it to your mouth and you just chew? You're going to have to stand there a long time. I'll stand there so it's done. Uh... I think cramp is the least of my problems right now. The crazy thing is, it's actually still delicious, even after all this time. I could just keep eating. I don't think I could ever get tired of peanut butter and jam. Or peanut butter and jelly, as the Americans call it. Peanut butter jelly! Peanut butter jelly! Peanut butter jelly! Peanut butter jelly! Peanut butter jelly on a baseball bat! Go way up! Way up! Go way up! Way up! Peanut butter jelly! Peanut butter jelly! Shall I continue? No, please, please no. Miss this bid for Christmas number one or what? Let us know in the comments if you want us to start working on a single. After I finish this, I'm officially halfway. Now we're sucking diesel. <laughs> Mother of God. <laughs> yeah, I must be really high on the sugar at this point because I just used an Irish colloquialism for no reason. I'm wondering why my uh, forearms are cramping up so early. Because normally that happens last 10 minutes pretty much. But then I'm realizing that I've pretty much eaten, what, like, two jars of jam already, which kind of explains it. Yeah, so at this point, some people are probably going to be wondering what's going on because most normal people have never eaten enough food to cause their limbs to go into cramp. But it happens, especially if you eat foods high in sugar and sodium, and this thing probably has enough sugar and salt to kill a, a, a possum or something. I hope it's like, it feels like it's about three kilos. You need to stop Separating the top layer from the bottom layer was a bad idea because there's not much jelly on this half. Jam, sorry. So now the flavor's not nice. Yeah, separating the top from bottom really was a, a mistake because there's something magical about the combination of peanut butter and jam. Once you separate them, sure they're enjoyable, but um, not as enjoyable. So this just bacon and peanut butter layer was a little sickly. I'm thinking I should clean up, but then I'm thinking there's probably no point. It 
So we're about halfway now, and uh, as you can see, I'm starting to lose a little bit of steam. This song is pretty much combined. Three of the hardest things to eat. Crusty bread, bacon, and peanut butter. Yeah, three of the hardest yeah. things to eat, but also three of the most delicious things to eat. So I can't really complain too much. Even at this point, actually, the flavor, when I combined the jam and uh, the peanut butter, it still tasted good. I felt like I could keep going despite what I might look like right now. <laughs> If I recall correctly, the cramps are about to intensify quite severely at this point. Oh. <laughs> yep, there it is. What a sissy. It's one of the weirdest feelings ever when eating food makes your limbs cramp up. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Stop being a baby. Oh, this is very bad. Get used to it. I'll go get close to the Ah! Ah! Did you see that? Oh, man. I don't think you'll really be able to notice this on the... Uh, no, you can't really notice on camera, but... Up close in the flesh you can kind of see the little muscle fibers in your arm twitching which is really odd but um it's kind of like when you get cramp you know in, in your calf when you're dehydrated it feels almost exactly the same as that <laughs> this must look really weird on camera but my forearm is going to cramp <sighs> Did you see that oh. I'm not sure, but it could be my body trying to tell me to stop. Yeah, I don't know. Could be. You are trying to eat uh, a 18,000 calorie sandwich after all. You might need to feed me this last piece. <laughs> my hands have stopped working. Keep going. How far are we doing? 50, Four hours. 50 minutes. Does this count? Two thirds. Um, no, there's no square room. And you have to eat the last third as well. Yeah, there's only seven minutes left, so I'm gonna have to wave the white flag again. But um, that was delicious. Even at the end, it still tasted pretty good. But um, it's too big, and my arms don't work anymore. So, I've been defeated. If you want to see any more of Mrs. Beard's wacky creations, take me down then. Comment below. Hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I'll catch you at the next one. If I survive the night. No wonder Elvis died eating like that. I mean, come on, play the game.